Welcome back to this little tiny corner of YouTube today. We are looking at Luke chapter 7 verses 11 to 17 as we're carrying on through. Let's look at this section right here. Now it happened the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him and a large crowd. And when he came near the gate of the city, behold, a dead man was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came and touched the open coffin, and those who carried him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. So he who was dead sat up and began to speak, and he presented him to his mother. Then fear came upon all, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen up among us, and God has visited his people. And this report about him went throughout all Judea and all the surrounding region. So Jesus happens upon a funeral procession. And here it comes, and then we get a little bit of the particulars here. This is a widow. This is her only son, probably her only real financial support. And now, you know, it's kind of like the end of everything, you know. Her son is dead. Her husband is dead. And in that society, not so many opportunities for people, for certain people. And so this is kind of like the end of the family and the end of everything. It's just, it's just a full disaster. But Jesus has compassion on her. Jesus wants to help. Jesus wants to heal. And he's, he's been careful, but now he's going to really cut loose. And so, first of all, don't weep. He hasn't done anything yet, but he says, stop crying now. And uh, they must have thought, well, that's a pretty uh, strange thing to say. Stop weeping. But he comes and he touches the coffin here, or the open uh, space where the, the body is. By the way, you can't do that in Judaism. You can't do that. When you touch a de dead body, you have become unclean. And so people at random didn't come up and touch the body because then they'd be unclean until evening and, and have to go through the whole process for that. Jesus comes and he, he, he says, okay, hold on. And they stop and he speaks to the corpse. There's a dead body. He speaks to him. He says, young man, I say to you, arise. And the dead person sits up and he's kind of curious. Hey, what's going on? Last thing I remember, this wasn't this. Okay. So here's the dead person and Jesus takes him. And then the kind of the punchline, the best part is in verse, verse 15 at the bottom. And he presented him to his mother. And what, what a Mother's Day gift this is. Hey, your son was dead, but uh, I've, just, I've just raised him from the dead. Here here he is. It's the same guy. I've raised him from the dead. That was the best Mother's Day gift anybody ever got. Jesus, he just he just hated funerals. Wherever he went, he just stopped, he'd stop them all the time. So he stops this funeral too. So so friends, look at look at what the result of this was. Fear came upon all, they glorified God, and they said, A great prophet has risen up among us, because yeah, like how many other prophets really raised the dead? I mean, that was basically something that almost never happened anywhere. Jesus is going to start doing it rather frequently. So uh, there is a report about Jesus that goes through the whole region. Hey, we've got a guy out here running loose. He's running wild. He's not under our control, and he can raise the dead. And the religious authorities are going to turn purple about that because you can't have such things. Things have to be under control, you know. Well, Jesus is God, and he'll raise from the dead whoever he wants. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Thank you for this beautiful story of the compassion that Jesus had on the mother and on the son too. And Lord, on all of us, because Jesus gave in those examples of raising the dead then, the examples of what he's going to do to those of us who die before the second coming of Jesus, the literal, physical, visible, audible, personal, actual second coming of Jesus. Before that time, uh, if those of us don't make it and we die, but when you, you do come, we will be raised from the dead, just like this. Thank you, Lord, for these promises, for these stories that show us ahead of time exactly what you're going to be willing to do for us. Bless us on the way. May your kingdom come, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, may the blessings of God be with you today in all that you do.